guys welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so if you're new my name is Empress and we're gonna try this vlogging thing I think I'm gonna try vlogmas I have a vlogging camera that I literally never use this the Sony a5100 I never use it I was thinking about buying another vlogging camera I'm like girl you don't even use the one you got so um I recently just got an iPad Pro that I can edit on so I don't have to use my a custom PC to edit on because sometimes that just is too much and I be on the go so yes hey guys this is today's vlog um probably the first week of vlogmas so for today um today's Sunday November the 29th I think and um I I was just recording and the, the, the camera wasn't recording so now I gotta redo what I was just saying but anyway today I said that I was going to clean my room this is my bathroom um if you care about this I'll pop the video up as you can see this um but I was going to clean my room and I was going to try to get clothes to take to Plato's closet because I can probably unload like a good tote full of clothes, maybe some t-shirts, maybe some pants, none of my hats, love my hats, but you know, maybe some t-shirts, maybe some pants, um, yeah, and I have like a huge shoe tote down there. I kind of cleaned that out. I don't really think I'm going to take anything out of there, maybe like two pairs of boots, but I don't really think I'm going to take much out of there. Um, to take the Playos closet, but yeah, I'm gonna go probably to Playos closet. It's really nice out. Well, it's not nice. I was very bright. It's bright right now, but um, I'm gonna do that, and then I might sew today. So that's what I was just saying when the camera wasn't recording. I had picked up sewing again. Um, I have my bachelor's in fashion merchandising and buying, but I used to go to Delaware State University where I took a class on sewing basic sewing tips how to hand sew how to use a sewing machine all types of stuff and that kind of has stuck with me like how to use a sewing machine how to hand sew how to do certain things and such and such so I got back into sewing I think that this is something good for me to do because like right now with the pandemic going on I live in New York State the pandemic is literally heavy up here like it's heavy up here we are very much restricted like we have i live in rochester new york we have went into like orange buffalo is in like red so it's like a lot of stuff that like we just can't do up here like we don't have much to do so me and my three best friends we started a business me i have well we're actually like really doing our business like we start that me i haven't started a business i've just gotten back into sewing and i want to practice my sewing and probably maybe professionally sell my um things that i make but i'm still practicing um, I get the gist of sewing, but, like, I could show you guys, like, some of the stuff I've been practicing. Like, where's the thong that I did? Well, actually, I can. Like, I could show you this. Like, this is a thong. Right now, the trim is down, but, like, I lined the whole outside. Of course, I'm still practicing. Like, I lined the whole outside. I would have to still do the top, um, and I would probably string back that. Uh, oh, about to fall. So, something else I got. It's really hard to show you guys when I am trying to hold the camera. Like, here's a halter top that I will work on. And I would probably, if I was to, like, have done this, I would have kept this long and let this have been a string, like, tie so they can string it in the back. But if I was to actually want to, like, salvage it, I would turn these over and then I would just string it up in the back. And, like, as you can see, I kind of, like, messed up there. And I kind of didn't finish it all the way there. But as you can see, it's a gist of a day. Oh, and I messed up right here because it didn't catch. But it's a gist of like a halter top. Like, I don't know. If I can like. It's the gist of a halter top. <laughs> so, yep. Been working on that. Been working on my sewing. Um, Went to Joanne Fabrics and bought like, um, I bought, I'll show you guys all. I bought these two fabrics from Joanne Fabrics. Um, this is like a performance four-way stretch. This is, I think, a two-way stretch, but I was going to use this for halter tops, and I was going to actually use this for exotic wear. I don't think, did I tell you guys I was making exotic wear? I don't know. But yeah, it's for exotic wear. So, I um, bought these patterns from this lady. Her name is Candice. Her brand is Hidden Agenda Brand. You can look her up on um, Instagram and on YouTube. She sent me, not sent me, I paid for them, but she sent them to me. These patterns, I bought 10 patterns for $165 from her. Um, I'll put them across the stream, screen, some of the different patterns that I bought. Um, I basically bought like the slingshot, bought a leotard, um, a bikini, um, 
thong, all types of patterns. If you don't know what pattern is, a pattern is basically the outline of how to make a certain piece of clothing. Um, so I bought the exotic wear patterns from her and so I've just been practicing on them. I've really been honing in on the thongs and the halter tops right now. I haven't really tried the slingshots. Um, I think I tried the bikini, the bikini top. I did that, try that. I haven't tried the um, leotard yet. Or the bodysuit, whatever you want to call it. Um, haven't really tried that. Or the boy shorts. Um, I've been really tr pra practicing with the halter top and the thongs. Because I kind of want to get those down pat with my sewing. Um, but yeah, so far so good. Like, as you can see, I still have, like, my trim in my sewing machine right there. i just been practicing, y'all. Like, that's just what's been going on. I need to clean my room. I need to do my hair. Sorry about the lighting change. Because I'm going from natural light to um overhead lighting which natural light looks so much better but yeah i need to do my wig that's right there. that's why my hair looks so dry this is like week old twist out hair that needs to be moisturized and done again um i went black friday shopping which actually i could show you guys some, some of the stuff i got for black friday let's do that so i got a pair of new crocs so these are the Crocs. They got the fur in the inside and they're ice blue. I know they look white, but they're actually ice blue. So I got those. I did not really get much this Black Friday. Like I really did it. Um, I have on one pair of socks right now, but I got a whole bunch of socks from Old Navy. Like look at the Santa Claus man with the, they had the black face. They had a white one, a light skin one, and it had a dark skin one. So you know I had to get the dark skin one. <laughs> they had these socks, which still Christmas spirit. They were all a dollar because Old Navy was 50% off. And well, these actually are five dollars, but they the cozy socks are always a dollar during the holidays or Black Friday. These are cute. Then I got the Christmas tree ones, of course. Then I got these tickety tickety tigers, tickety tickety tigers. Oh, and then I got some ones on. Hold on, they're unicorn. Uh, that's it. So I got some unicornies and then I got some high rise leggings and I got another pair of leggings that I might post a picture but it's just the light skin pair of leggings well the light gray and they're ribbed those were cute and then I got some New Year's PJs that have like champagne bottles on them and they say happy New Year's so yeah that's basically what I got for Black Friday oh and also like my friend he bought me this ring um this gold ring for black friday well it wasn't for black friday he just bought it because he bought himself a ring so he got me one too so focus yeah so i got that um also my friend he got me the minnetonka slipper uggs i'll post a picture so i got those for black friday well it wasn't really black friday because they wasn't on sale um but i got those just around black friday <laughs> and yeah, that was basically it. Like, I just went to Joanne Fabrics, and then I went to... Where else I go? Oh, I went to Best Buy. I got my mom the ear pods. Um, I have mine right here. Mine is right here, but I just bought my mom the ear pods, not ear pods. And I have a case on mine, and so I'm probably going to buy her the case, um, a case to go on hers. And then, like, mine's have, like, the, the um, case on the actual ear pod. Like, it's a light purple on the ear pod. So yeah, I'm probably going to go, and I got this the case from Burlington, probably going to go to Burlington eventually and get my mom the another case so she could have that to like go with her little set. And I'll probably buy her some other little things. Um, But yeah, other than that, I'm about to make my bed, clean my room, vacuum, and yeah, I'll be back. I'll let you guys watch like a time lapse of me cleaning. And I'm probably going to then start cleaning out my totes that's under my bed so I can take this stuff to Plato's closet. So yeah, let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I just got my Amazon package. It's, um, well, I just opened it for y'all. But right here are the different clothes I'm giving away. Here are some, like, little pants. They got, like, this on the back. They're from Charlotte Russe. 
uh some pink leggings some sweatpants a sweatsuit these are two sweatsuits i got the jackets for i'll get those out these pants i bought them too small i should have bought them in a large from rainbow they was tight i only wore them one time these fit weird so i'm giving those away wore these one time these look thick they're thin as hell so giving those away so yeah that's why my little tote looks like this this is my legging and like shorts type tote like you see like the little booty shorts um, i got some work pants but it's like leggings skirts it's a little pleather skirt i haven't worn this yet um uh, but yeah i'm about to like refold this up and then i'll show you guys the cupcake um whatever it's called that i just got so me and my friends started a business um we're called kush fairies <laughs> uh but we kind of go by the fairies because it's not legal here in new york state to um sell edibles so yeah we sell edibles we sell cupcakes we sell cookies um we're venturing into different little things all oh, right now if you see on the tv i'm watching lovely tea um, but yeah, we sell different things, so we're dibbling dabbling in that. So, our cookie slash cupcake holders have came because we had like an order of six. I'll put like pictures on the screen. We had like an order of six cookies, and we really didn't have a tray to give the people the cookies in. So, we got these boxes. Oh, and then we could not use the, as you can see, like these are, you could put the cupcakes in that. These are the holders, they're going to boxes. And then here's the boxes. So, we got these. So, if we get um, large orders or something like that, or people order a lot from us, we could put them in these. Um, we recently, oh gosh, the plastic is ripping. I gotta make sure that doesn't fall out. Um, we recently just figured out how to make our own labels. Um, if anybody's interested in that, let me know. I'll make a video on that. Um, that will be, actually, I'll just make a video on that because I think that is very useful. Um, so... We recently got our stuff to make our own labels, so we're doing that. We got the boxes now. Um, we got some cupcake holders. So, yeah, we're getting into the business. We doing the thing. We doing the thing. Like, we started our business, I don't know how long ago. I would definitely probably say, I don't know, maybe a month ago. Get y'all closer to me. Um, I definitely probably say maybe like a month and a half ago, probably sometime in October, um, or in the beginning. Was it the beginning of November? I really don't know, y'all. That's crazy. I'm like, when do we start our business? Because I'm just like, I have no idea. You know, this battery. I need to order a new battery. Like, I was just, I just started recording, and this thing's talking about some on my 83. Um, so our first batch was November the seventh today is november the 29th so we haven't even been doing this a month yet and we have like grown <laughs> we have bought all types of like stuff for our business um we have actually made enough profits to pay for our rental car that me and my friends are going to dc in december so we made enough profits to pay for our rental car we still have like more money left over but we had enough like leftover money to feel comfortable enough to use it for the rental car so so far so good with our little business shout out to the fairies if you live in rochester new york hit us up um i put our facebook page i need to make us an instagram because facebook be uh, hating but yeah so i'm about to continue to go through this stuff and then i'm probably gonna go through my other toe under here go through my other toe over there i know it's a bad toe and probably see if i want to give away any coats then i'm gonna pack this stuff up take a shower probably wash my hair when i'm taking a shower and then we're gonna head to playlist closet what time is it so it's 10 42 hopefully we leave here by one yeah by one because playlist closet probably close at five so yep let's do that lego y'all see all these clothes i'm giving away my good fur is murder i had wore that on my 21st birthday my theme was like fur coats and stuff i put a picture in because i was cute and then i used to work for this lady for my internship and she used to sell clothes and she gave me this uh it's a cute sweater but like it's been sitting in my closet for some years now it's actually a good brand of um, sweaters it's cute but i just haven't been using it and i just feel like i don't know maybe i should keep it I guess I'll keep it because I could wear it to work and stuff. But I'm about to get this away because I haven't used this in forever and I'm not going to use it. I got a whole bunch of sweatsuits, jeans, dresses. It's a jumpsuit. 
I got some Victoria's Secret stuff in here. I got a Victoria's Secret bag, a skirt. So I'm about to pull all that in these bags and pack it up. And then, yeah, we're heading to the Play-Doh's closet. Day goes by that I don't think about the times. I wish that I could rewind. Cause I've been getting chills too many years. Years that I won't get back. Before I get copyrighted. Uh, I wish y'all could see me better. Oh, hey, where's the sun? There's the sun. There's the sun. So y'all can't really see me that well because I have on this hat. There goes the sun right there. So y'all can't really see me that well because I got on this hat and um, the light. But it's a beautiful day. I got on my Delaware State uh, sweater, some leggings. Oh my God, where are this fucking dog? <sighs> y'all just don't understand how much I really, my, my, my mom's dog gets on my damn nerve with all the damn dog hair. Let me see if I can prop y'all up. This might be too high for my baby. Yes, I can prop y'all up. Anyway, so yeah, my mom dog got hair on my damn leggings. I'm putting on some lotion. These are my cut my cush covers. What? My I'm about to say couch covers. My seat covers. I got a um what is that called? I got a why why can't I talk? I have a car tour on my channel check it out okay <laughs> about my car all right i just got this car in june and it's about to be december in two days so yeah as y'all can see i got them bags in the back it's three bags my mom gave me a bag i got a i got two bags so i'm about to go do that i'm about to go take them to play those i'm about to go to the bank and get some money then i'm going to my friend house so i could drop off them cupcake cookie container things i got them in the back too and yeah it's about to be leticia oh that car like juked really hard you ever just washing cars and they like just doing too much anyway so and let go because i'm about to go to the bank and then i'm about to go to play those cars because you know what my thing is i go to post cars we got two where i live I think we only got two. But I take, sometimes I take the stuff to one, and then when the other one playing, and then they don't take that, I take the stuff to the other one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, just a tip, just a tip. But, yeah, and let go. Let me find some, some music to play. Some music. I've been really loving Pooh Shiesty. I've been really loving the Pooh, the Pooh Daddy. Oh well, y'all can see. So let's talk about how I get all the way to Plaza's closet. I'm here. I'm in the plaza at Plaza's closet. So they like, oh, we only could take one bag per person due to COVID, which I guess I could see, cause you don't want all that stuff like in there. But at the same time, clothes, stuff like clothes, cardboard and shit doesn't hold COVID on it. Like it really doesn't. And if it does, it only holds it for a short period of time. That's why people need to do their research because I do. But anyway, uh, so I could see that. Like I could understand that. But then they like, yeah. And then we're being very selective of what we're taking. What do that got to do with COVID? Because you being selective, you're not gonna you you make your you make your money off taking people's clothes and reselling them. You can't be selective of everything that you gonna fucking get because just because you put down Victoria's Secret don't mean Victoria's Secret here. Even though I have like two or three pink things in my bag, so I'm probably gonna have to go through these bags, make one bag of things that I actually think they would take. So I'm gonna try like the Hollister jeans, the pink stuff, and I'm just gonna bring the bag here. And it, 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 that pissed me off. Like, oh, we only taking one bag per person. I should be a dickhead and go right over to this Wegmans and give me a big ass trash bag and just put it all in there and be like, this is one bag, here you go. Like, <laughs> like here you fucking go. But I think I'm just about to reorganize this shit into different bags. Like, I'm I'm really, that is so fucking, we ain't taking one bag. The girl was nice, though. Like, I don't want to be, you know what I mean? That's all right, but we ain't taking one bag per person due to COVID. Like, the fuck? Like, what? What's going to have to do with anything? Like, and y'all still touching them with your bare fucking hands. So, what do that got to do with anything? I'm about to, re I already came out here. So, I'm about to rearrange this shit into one fucking bag. I don't give a fuck if the bag is overflowing. They're going to get it because I'm already here. Like, I'm literally... Can y'all see it? There goes Playlist Closet. So, yeah. Oh, my God. It's like hair on my freaking camera. Um, but, yeah. I'm already here. And... Ugh, it's freaking hair. Fuck all my camera. That's annoying. 
Um, oh, I forgot. I have to charge my camera in my car if I really wanted to. Like, why must the light be so bad? Okay, there we go. And as you can see, I got my twist in. That white stuff is like leave-in conditioner and cream. I just twisted my hair. Um, but yeah, there's a man coming up behind me. Y'all might see him in the camera. But I'm about to redo this bag. So yeah, I guess let's the fuck do that. Like rearrange these fucking bags in my damn car. This is so annoying. So I think I actively got everything into one bag. And then I have this bag. Yep. It's gonna be overflowing, but fuck them. They'll live. <laughs> Okay, yep, now I gotta carry this. All right, I'll be back, I'll be back, y'all. <laughs> hey, y'all, y'all can see me a little better because the light is there. So, I took the stuff to put those closets, as y'all saw. I had um, put the stuff in one bag. It was overflowing. Oh, well, that's still technically one bag. I just put all the stuff that I thought they would actually take. So, I, like, I took out some dresses. What else? I took out some dresses. I took out some pants. Um, that I thought they wouldn't take and stuff, but I gave them a majority of like jeans, um, sweatsuits, sweaters. My mom gave me some boots to give to them. So I gave all that stuff. Um, the girl told me to come back at two o'clock. I had went there, it was like 120 when I gave her the stuff. It's 140 right now. Um, I had went to the gas station, got me a cranberry juice. And I'm just about to chill and wait. Um, the girl was so nice. Like, I was like, okay, you know. And I already drove all the way out there. And then once I had broke down my bags, I technically had three bags. When I broke down the bags, and is this sugar free? No. <laughs> when I broke down the bag, I could basically kind of fit everything in one bag. Um, like I took all those three bags and condensed it to one bag. So yeah, I left a couple things out that they probably wasn't going to take no way um i gave them like majority of the stuff that i thought that they would take so hopefully they take the stuff but Plato's closet is really picky sometimes but she'll go in there and you'll find the shittiest of the shitty that they have taken but then they'll be like guess stuff is last season but you got this shitty shit in here but we digress we digress so yeah, I'm outside. Oh, was LA Fitness like is the gyms just closed? Closed? Oh, they are just like closed again, aren't they? I'm outside of LA Fitness. I don't know if y'all had LA Fitness where y'all live. I know LA Fitness is other places, but our LA Fitness is closed. As y'all can see, the parking lot is burr, baby, burr. Ain't nobody out here. I'm parked like crooked to the side. That's the street. Ain't nobody out here because um COVID. <laughs> yeah, like on last not last Thursday. Was it last Thursday? Last Wednesday, Tuesday or whatever. The governor has said like he was shutting down shit in Rochester again. He had already shut down shit in Buffalo. So yeah. So I'm just about to wait till two o'clock for my Plato's closet stuff. And then I'm about to go to my friend house and I pick y'all back up then. Cause yep. <laughs> hey y'all, so I'm back home. Um from Plato's Closet. They only gave me forty dollars. <laughs> Yeah, that was my Plato's closet. Plato's closet. I cannot say it right. That was my Plato's closet fail. That was just annoying. Like, I put all that stuff in there. They were like, you got really good stuff, but like, you know, due to COVID restrictions, we can't. I'm like, whatever. Okay, so yeah, like $40 for 15 items. Like, that is just pure not good. I would have to divide that, and that's just horrible. Um, but. Oh, well, it's funny that I didn't have before, I guess. But, yeah, I'm going to close today's vlog. And then tomorrow I go to work, so I might not vlog again till maybe, like, the weekend or when I do some fun stuff. But, yeah, right now I'm just watching Beauty and the Beast on Netflix. Not the, like, the Belle one. You know, not the Disney Princess one. The series is Beauty and the Beast. I'm watching this so far. And so far it's still good. So, I might just sit here... It's cold. I'm about to put my blanket on. I put my sweatpants on. I have my bag. My iPad. And I'm about to probably sit on this. And oh, so happy. I'm about to sit on this and probably edit this vlog. And yeah. Maybe I'll sew a little later. It's not even really that late. It's only like, it's only 5. Oh my God. It's not even late. It's only 5.15. It just gets so dark so quick. You just be like, oh, it's so late. I have nothing else to do with my day. I could fold some laundry. But I don't really feel like doing that. So, I'm just going to chill. And watch TV.
because this episode almost over. I'm going to watch episode 30. And I might fall asleep. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I just ate a sandwich, too, with some guacamole and chips. That was delicious. So, yeah. That's all I'm doing. So, I'll probably pick y'all back up maybe tomorrow after work or before I go to work. I don't know. Bye, y'all.